When the owner of this series home, who doesn't want to be identified, received a text from her neighbor. There was a lot of minors with coming in with cases of beer. Alerting her to hundreds of high school age kids breaking in and using her house to hold a rager. I could not believe the mess that they left in here. She was shocked. They had a DJ, they had beer pong going on. and She also found the sliding glass door pried open, screens knocked out, and the floors sticky with beer. She says marijuana and beer cans covered almost every surface of the two-story house. I wish these kids were a little more aware of things that could have happened. They had my hot tub going, getting ready to get in the hot tub. Could have been drownings with people being drunk on, you know, or high. That's him. After it was busted, she took to the internet, Googled her address, and found it posted on the Twitter and Instagram accounts belonging to a Central Catholic High School student. It's all over, yeah. From I, I've seen posts like this from Sacramento all the way through Fresno, and the kids are coming. It's not from one school. It's from several different schools, several different communities. And they're coming around, throwing these parties, making a lot of money off of them. But surprisingly, she doesn't want the kids to get in trouble with police or the school. I think what they need to ha have is some kind of community service. I had to pick up their trash. Maybe they need to go along the highways and pick up trash for the community. And is asking for an apology. I'm putting it in the parents' hands. I want to see what they're going to do. I think they should step up as a parent and have um, pay for the damages. Damages and proceeds from charging $10 a head. She plans to donate to the Every 15 Minutes program, teaching kids about the dangers of drinking and driving. Think of how many kids left here when the cops came that were drunk, driving out in the roads, and how many families were out there could have had their families and loved ones killed. This is bring your own weed, too. In series, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News.